Mm. Pretty little black skin girl, pretty little diamond ring. Oh, Caribbean beauty, Caribbean cutie. Hey gems, welcome back to my channel. So today is a impromptu video. Um, if you follow me on Instagram at jow underscore empress underscore, I'm always sharing um, what I'm eating on my Insta stories. And one of the things I eat a lot are kale salads and I'm always sharing it and people are always asking me, oh, that looks good, what, what do you put on it? So I'm gonna share with you guys what I put on my salads. I already have everything cut up here. Well, my fiance cut up everything. So there's just kale, cucumbers, and tomatoes in here. Josiah. Oh, and there's, you said dandelion? You mean parsley? Parsley. Yeah. <laughs> so there's kale, cilantro, and parsley in here. And now I'm going to season it up and make it look delicious. So we're putting onion powder. And I don't measure anything because it's just not necessary. Some garlic. Some nutritional yeast. I prefer to use bruised yeast, but we don't have any. So some nutritional yeast. If I didn't have um, fresh parsley and cilantro in here, I would put some dry, but there's already fresh in there, so there's no need to put the dry one. Josiah, what are you doing, bro? I'm putting some pink Himalayan sea salt. Some agave. A half a lime. I'm putting some coconut oil, which coconut oil is actually very good for you. You should look up the benefits of coconut oil. And it gives the salad a really nice flavor. And it's best to digest it <clears throat> in its raw form like this versus heating it. And last but not least, some olive oil. Then I'm going to mix up everything and I'm going to add as needed because I season everything to taste, which is why I don't measure. I'm probably going to add a little bit more olive oil because this is a lot of salad so even though it looks like I put a lot of olive oil I really didn't If you don't have lime, you could even add apple cider vinegar, but I prefer lime. This is the end product. It's yummy goodness. So we're gonna have this with some wakame and an avocado. Just I <laughs> excuse my son in the background. Okay, so lately we've been eating a lot of wakame, and if you don't know what wakame is, it's basically a seaweed, and um, it's very good for you. It's high in iron, calcium, potassium, and a lot of other minerals and vitamins. I'm going to show you how I prepare it real quick, because we've been eating it with our salads lately, a lot, like every day. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> when you purchase it, it's in like bigger flakes, so what we do is grind it up. And then you just pour some water on it. Then you're gonna throw this water off. Yeah, this is how the package look. And that's how big the um, flakes are before we, before we grind it up. So you pour off the first set of water 
Then you pour some more water on it because this is really salty. It's straight from the sea. So if you don't pour off some of the water, it's going to be too salty for you to eat. And then I'm pouring off the second batch. Ooh. And you just pour it until some of the flakes start to come out your bowl. And then you leave some from the second batch in there. And it's going to just soak up all the water it's like magic. So you going to, I'm just going to leave it here. And you can see how it just starts to soak up the water. Okay, this is how it looks once all of the water is soaked up and now we're gonna season it so I'm putting sesame seed oil roasted sesame seed oil not the plain one yes there's a difference this one is almost done so I have a new one here. You don't need any salt in this because, like I said, it's naturally salt. And I'm putting some onion powder. Josiah. Yes, Josiah. I'm trying to record a video. And some garlic powder. More garlic than onion. And you could eat, like... I could I could eat this wakame without seasoning it, but of course, Josiah, can you can you for a little bit? Can you use your inside voice? After mixing everything in, and we literally just put that on top of our salads. However, if you're looking for another sea weed to use on your salad, those flakes is really good. Um, if you don't like the taste of wakame. So I'll show you guys how everything look when we're finished plating. So these are our plates for dinner. We have the kale salad, the wakame on top. And this is a roast my fiance made from scratch earlier today. Thumbs up this video or comment below if you guys want him to do a video showing you how he made that roast, but it's so good. I've never made it myself. He's always the one making it, so it would be him making it in the video. I almost forgot our avocado, so now this is the final plate with our kale salad, wakame, rose, and avocado. Again, if you want to see a video to see how my fiance make the rose, give this video a thumbs up or comment below. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this impromptu video. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as I mentioned at the end of all of my videos now, I do make and sell natural skincare products over on my Etsy shop. The link for that is in the description box below, so be sure to check that out. There's also other links down there that you can check out. One for digits, one for Ebates. Anyways, you guys will see me in my next video. Peace. And you deserve it all. Oh, this is perfect. And it's the magic, and everything you do is an honor. Perfect.